Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappy Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for this flip through Friday video. If you'd like to see what I hauled for this week, stick around. Happy Plans, I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. Thank you so much for being here for this video. I am really excited to share with you uh, First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to Laura and Annie at the BFF Sticker Club because I placed an order and I shared it last week, last week's haul. Um, and then like two days later, they or the next day, they had a 30% off sale, flash sale. And I messaged them and said, I would go and place a huge order before your sale. And they were like, oh, no worries. We will refund you the, the rest. And I was like, no, 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 no. Um, how about if you just throw in some stickers next time? And so they sent me a whole separate batch of stickers which was way unnecessary and way kind and like I didn't even ask it was just something they decided to do which was really generous so thank you so much I am obsessed with the vinyls they sent me two vinyl stickers sticker people are the best kind of people and sticker mail it's the kind it's the best kind of mail and I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with these so those were some freebies actually all of its freebies right um this one's amazing so this is a lot of things that it looks like um, may or may not have happened at sticker camp or could happen at sticker camp. And then there's little speech bubbles with sayings, um, like you can just see yourself out, which is like one of their signature sayings. Um, Hey bestie, uh, which came first, the scratch or the sniff, let's trade stickers. So love that. And then more period tracking stickers. Lovely. I've used a whole bunch already. Um, these gorgeous little plants with the faces, Another sheet of Leilani's self-care, self-love themed stickers. This colorway is stunning. And I already have all of these, but I'm happy to have duplicates for sure. And then the one collab with Brooke O'Neill with these like magical creatures, which are just so fun. So that was really, really kind of them to send these to me. Thank you so much. So I wanted to share them. Okay, then I got my Allie Edwards purchase. I did actually cancel my story kit. I know. I love the story kit. It's not because I don't. I've shared before. It's just that I don't have enough scrappy projects to, at the moment to justify the second subscription. So they just completely knocked it out of the park with their changes to their stories by the month kits. And so that's what I'm using predominantly to document project life. I also have a subscription to Studio Calico, which I actually skipped this month because to be honest, I didn't really love it. They had their quarterly scrapbook kits from 2022 on sale for $10 a piece. If I had more sticker money in my budget, I would have gotten more, but I could only get one. So I got rainbows because y'all know I love rainbows. So the quarterly scrapbook kits come with 12 by 12 papers because traditional scrapbooking was done on 12 by 12 paper. So the back's white, but you have this lovely grid paper. I don't know why, but these colors and like this whole thing reminds me of like Eric Carl. Um, the paint looking swatches, the this grid pattern, the court, the rainbow, and this one says, "When beauty is seen through the windows of the soul, rainbows appear, and everything is magical. It feels simply divine." In Allie's handwriting, and then this one, which is probably my favorite. So there's one, two, three four, five, six, 12 by 12 sheets, and then six by eight papers. And I've never purchased a quarterly scrapbook kit, so this is new to me, which is so exciting. So you have this gorgeous rainbow print, some wonky-ish stripes, black and white, and then the rainbow, and then a half circle. I love these little squiggles. Bring on the stories capturing daily life, kindness for the win. Remember and reflect and grow. Document your story. It matters. Practice gratitude. Create and discover. Say yes. I love it. Love this one with the little white raindrops. This sort of like pixelated. That's really creative and fun. And then one of those paint swatched but on a column. Those are gorgeous. There's some little wood veneer rainbows. Some vellum die cuts. 
I don't know if these are still available, but definitely check out Ali Edwards if you really like this kit. So we have a currently, there's that print. Wow, this is so pretty. The black and white. There's a purple one today, and then a blue one, and then the rainbow with little gold foiling. Wow, those are gorgeous. Then there are some actual rainbow vellum pieces that have different phrases on them, such as when beauty is seen through the windows of the soul, rainbows appear and everything is magical and feels simply divine. That's really cool. Then there are some canvas word phrase strips in rainbow colors. And last but not least are these little like, well, they're not really little actually, they're kind of large um, pockets I think they are. So there's a pink one and a green one. Is that it? Yeah. So one says the best and then one is just this rainbow and you can flip it down and then put some journaling inside or a photo or whatever you want. So that's fun. Kind of a watercolor effect. So that's the rainbows quarterly scrapbook kit. I really wanted like the tag one as well, but, and the numbers one, but that's okay. There's only so much money in the budget, right? Um, then the April Stories by the Month kit came in this beauty. And then I did purchase this Alphas Are Awesome set. I love the variation in the upper and lowercase letters. And I think the font is really classic. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a typewriter. So I really liked the simplicity of it. And then here's the Stories by the Month kit. So let's see, there's just so much in here. Um, there are tab stickers. These are my absolute favorite. There are three that say April story, three that say this, and then six in the colors for the month. And I'm like, every month, love everything in every kit so far. Like there's, I, there's nothing I don't like in any of these stories by the month kits. And this is the fourth one this year, and I'm still, like, completely over the moon for them. So here's the four by sixes. You have April, April showers, bring me flowers. So that's the title card that I use every month. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. April looks like this, and this is what I keep my ephemera on for the month. This, saying yes to this. Now, this exact color and font was used, I want to say, in Community the community story kit last year and I found a three by eight card so you can see that it's like that same font this came in the community story kit I'm pretty sure so if you have that story kit and you haven't used it you can probably make it work with this April stories by the month um what I love about right now and then one two and three the details the details the details so you can cut it apart or keep it as is so that is those are the note cards. These are on cardstock. And then there's a whole separate set of vellum, which is like amazing. A flower blooms for its own joy. Currently celebrating. You get one of these every month as well as one of these. This one's April Three Things. I love this font and I have a stamp set from Paper Person Shop. I wonder if it would work. Let me see. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's different, but I think it's also could totally work if I wanted to use this to stamp. Paper person shop is no longer a thing, apparently. I was supposed to get a December kit and never got it. So, but they took my money. So hopefully it's coming at some point. <laughs> um, April 3x4 card. This one says, I want to remember this. I'm obsessed with this. This one's got an exclamation point and some room for journaling. Everyday moments. How gorgeous is that? Wow. Celebrating the magically mundane. Loving every minute. All right, then you get chipboard, you get your die cuts, which I use a ton of. Honestly, this subscribing to this is also making me question my Studio Calico subscription. Even though I love it, I just don't know that I need it because this just has so much. Celebrating the magically mundane in the gold foil story. And then you have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous print. Wow. And then more pinks, and this one's got more blues, and this one's got more. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 
<laughs> these are so pretty. You could like use uh, punches and punch circles out of them or different shapes and make your own ephemera. There's so many things you can do with these. Wow, I'm obsessed. Here are the three by fours, so April stories. And then you've got a bunch of frames, it looks like. This sort of abstract pattern, which is really nice. There's another frame, the ampersand, then another frame, and then a hashtag. Oh, that's so fun. Wow. Oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Obsessed. And then the chipboard coordinates with it. And then the die cups. Let's see. We have a whole bunch of these long skinny ones. Love spending my day doing this very thing. Oh, everyday life. I'm feeling you big time right now. Feeling overwhelmed. It happens. Okay, yeah, this one makes me smile big time. Wishing I could do something other than this right now. Ooh, that should say then. It says other that this. That's a typo. That's okay, though. Remembering that highs and lows often exist together. Super thankful for this really basic piece of life. And big sigh, and then another, another, and another. Then we've got some my story details. That's a big one. Ooh, this is a vibe. I love that tag. Obviously, because it's like rainbow-esque. Love this photo. Oh, so good. This is just a blank tag with pink, a pink line. Today was, oh, I like this size. That's different. This week. These words. The story. Oh. These words, these photos. And then you have the story, the story. Oh, wow. Very cool. All right, and then we've got hello, April. AM story, PM story, and then just the facts. Wow. Amazing. All right. So that's the, all, all of this is the stories by the month kit. I think it's like, uh, I want to say it's like 20, $21 maybe. Am I something like that? I don't know, but it's very, very, very affordable and reasonable for what you get. Obviously, the stamp set I purchased separately, that was an add-on. I think that was $28.99. Um, eh, okay. So, literally obsessed with this kit. Not surprised at all. Um, okay. Then, I was out getting photo paper for my project life at Staples and I found a bunch of pens that I don't have. And if you've been watching my swatch series videos in my Hoponichi, I've swatched uh, the uni ones in a 0 0.5. I wanted to try them in a seven. So I picked these up. This was the only color set I could find. If I can find other ones, I'll grab them. Um, I don't have this colorway of the retractable click art markers. So this is the pastel um, color with, oh, light color palette, it's called. So I can't wait to swatch those. And then I also found the Papermate Flare Dual Tip, which is like a brush pen on one end and a regular fine tip nib on the other. So I will be swatching these in a separate, probably, I don't know if it'll be a reel or a video. I'm not sure yet. Um, but in the future, this type of thing will be exclusive to Patreon content. Um, so that's all I've got. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell so you don't miss my content and I will see you in the next video. As always, feel free to leave comments below, questions, whatever you'd like, and we can chat. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, friends. Take care and remember that you are enough. Bye.